Welcome back everybody to Oxygen Not Included. This is Huts, and we're going back at it. If you guys missed the first episode, I would recommend going back to check out uh, how we are starting this whole thing and kind of a uh, backstory to this series. If you guys are coming in, you're gonna be like, wondering why I'm not responding to people in chat and stuff like that. Not people in chat, people in the comment section. Um, currently gone on vacation, so I'm pumping out a bunch of these episodes so that I have some content while I'm gone, because there's no way that I can record that many Isaac videos and uh, edit them in like a week to cover two weeks. I, I can't even do that like regularly to cover the time in front of my face. To cover the next day, I can't do that, so. I felt like this series was something that I said I'd be do for I, I, I would have done for a while. We've been talking about this for a long, long time, and uh, it allows me to pump out a lot of stuff unedited. And you guys get to watch in fine detail how I uh, fail miserably on this because I don't even know how to speed up time because it's, it's, it's the tab button. I'm thinking it's like The Sims where I, I can hit like one, two, three. Oh man, The Sims! You guys remember that? People still play The Sims? Is that a thing? We used to play the shit out of Sims. Let's go ahead and uh, start assigning cots as they build them. This will give them a spot to sleep. Um, what does it really actually do, though? Furniture. Cot. Gives the duplicates a place to sleep. Automatically return to their cots to sleep at night. So it, it just gives them a set place to sleep in. And I'm assuming it maybe helps their stress a little bit. It looks more comfortable than when they were sleeping on the ladders. Sleeping on the ladders and the ground probably increases stress. Sleeping on the cots is probably like a no stress change. And then, uh, was there something even better than that? Where was that? Furniture. I think eventually we'll be able to research even better beds. Or so I've seen. I, I did like 10 minutes of research on the like 17 bajillion hours of content that I'm going to be trying to figure out. I'm saying like... They were like hour long videos for each different upgrade and I tried to like find the shortest video I could possibly get to say like here's a rundown of what to expect with this next upgrade. Going into this essentially blind. I really don't know what I'm doing. Alright, Nails, you get that one, and Nicola, you get the last one. You know, maybe Nicola should have the first one since you have a sore back. Why? From sleeping on the floor. There we go. That's the uh that's that's why you make a bed. Um was it minus one athletics? That sucks, dude. What was I talking about? I was gonna say that you actually have a short bladder. No? How do I see that? Stats, right? Where's the details? Maybe Nicola wasn't the one with the short bladder. Small bladder is actually nails. Okay. Thinking that nails should be like closer to the uh, outhouse. Does it really matter? Probably not. This thing is getting about half full. I don't see any contaminated oxygen yet, or contaminated dirt. It must be only when they clear it out. Uh, I think before it used to generate it on its own, before it was even full or cleared out, but maybe it doesn't do that anymore. I hope that there, there have been some balances, some checks and balances to make sure that things don't just go absolute nuts. Let's go actually just dig all this out. I know all these plants could be useful, but we'll still keep the seeds when they drop. And I'm thinking of making some tile over. Should we just make it like even with that? I don't know. I don't want this to be a stupid area. I really don't like this tile around this hatch. Eventually, I think we're going to have to redo this. So let's just keep our base moving like that's not even there. And just go by like threes. How about that? That seems pretty acceptable like that. And then like maybe here. It's pretty tight in this area, but... They need some paths to walk across in order to dig this out. So. And we should probably extend more storage compactors over here. Eventually. Yeah, see these drop the seeds. So they're not going anywhere as long as they don't drop past this pitcher pump. I hope that catches them. We can prioritize. Oh, fuck. They totally did go past that. Yeah, you know what? I think I will prioritize that then. I'll prioritize the building of these uh, over the destruction of these. But hopefully there's a... No! <laughs> well, now it doesn't matter, does it? I thought they were going to stop. I guess they don't stop mid-dig. Like, hell no, dude. 
Um, we must have just dug up some copper because then we got this this wire, the ability to, to make some wire. But then the time that like bring happens, yeah, copper ore means that we can build something new. Continue on, file. Oh my God, your base is so sloppy. Yes, it is. I'm not even gonna argue that. It's very sloppy. I don't want to dig into this area down here. Because it's uh, CO2. It's a lots of CO2. But maybe if we crack into this vacuum too, the CO2 will just go and clear into the vacuum and maybe dig down from there. What is that? Pinch of pepper plants. I've never seen that before. And a, bl a balm lily. That's it. Blam. Blam would have been way cooler of a name. Um, yeah. Dig down so that that carbon dioxide comes down here and hopefully takes up this area, which is not where we are. I can go ahead and start getting this copper ore. Tons of copper in there. What else is around us in the immediate vicinity? Dusk cap. Don't, I don't know what that does. Dusk cap produces mushrooms, a fungal growth that can be harvested for food. Okay. Doesn't sound like any kind of food I would like to eat, but pinch of pepper plant produce flavorful pepper nuts for spicing food. Must be just the way to make your food taste a little bit better. And a uh, uh, blam lily. Blam lily flowers, a lovely blam with med medicinal po uh, properties. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Cool, man. What do we need to do? Uh, food place. We need to make a, we a Weenie Hut Jr. So, we should probably go ahead and do that. It's going to generate heat, like I was saying. I kind of want to just clear out this area and not really have to worry about these meal woods. I don't know if it's, if it's proper to, like, leave them there. I want to, like, clear this out and make the, the, the tile go, like, across this way. But if I remove this tile up here... You know what? I actually, I can remove that. And then build it down one before this hatch is able to jump out. Because this is still free high. We should be able to do this. Wish me luck. I love this copy settings thing. Oh, God. It's a time saver. We really need that, though. What's up, Lenny's? I know that you want to snuggle Lenny's, but, like, I don't really have the ability to, like, pause the game. We're going to attempt to do some double duty Lenny's. Already I messed up because I hit the space bar on my computer, so that was a cut. Nice, Lenny. Thank you for distracting me. Look, uh, buddy, I love to snuggle with you, but I'm really trying to, like, play this game, too. All right. Daddy's working. Yeah? I know. I know. Disable auto repair. Disable disinfect. So many new settings I have no idea about. All right, we wanted to make a food station. Can we do that? Raw metal. We have a bunch of copper. Not a bunch. We must have used it up already. Something, or maybe we just don't have enough. From it. You know what? It actually probably fell. Maybe? I don't know, Leonard. What do you think about that? What do you think about that, Leonard? We're going to have to go over here, I think, and break into this carbon dioxide. I just, I'm, I'm worried about this hatch coming at me. I don't know what to expect of that. The second that he gets over and in my space isn't going to be good. But if we can actually lead him down, like we were saying, to the outhouse, that would be uh, excellent. So maybe we should try to do that. Maybe we should try to make that possible. So he jumps down two spaces. He can and will. So if we can get him to go down there like this, maybe get that little copper piece too because we need more copper at the moment. And uh, then we'll have to actually dig this out over here, but we'll wait on that. All right. You know, we got a plan. And this guy, the hatch did not leave. Well, you know what? We don't have to worry about him climbing out, actually, uh, until it's nighttime. So that's also another positive. He ain't going to do shit until that comes. And then we're going to dig this out. And make some more tile. You really want to pay attention and make sure that you, you're using your sandstone and not, like, your better stuff to build tile. Because I think you can use some more rare stuff like granite and stuff that you might want to save for something else. But it does matter what you make the tile out of, I think, depending on, like, how much it can hold up, how much, like, water pressure that can go on, on top of it. And uh, maybe even heat index. I don't know, man. I'm just throwing out random words like I know what I'm talking about. New duplicate is ready to be printed. Do we, do we think we can handle it? 
Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Bert, Rowan, and Ada. Unconstructive. What does that mean? Cannot build. Uh, creativity. Digging is, is, is good. Can't build, though. Is that going to be a problem? I, I don't know. Loud sleeper? Seems like it would be a super bad thing, but if you just make their cot away from the other cots, it's actually pretty okay. Uncultured is a plus. Uh, minus 20 decor expectation. And buff, strength plus 3. Kindness, strength. That just seems pretty lame, though. All right, kindness and strength here as well, but more of them. Bottomless stomach eats a lot of food. I don't want that. I'm actually willing to go with Bert here for uh, the digging capabilities. Do we have a digger already? Who's our digger currently? All right, but I'm gonna let you down, okay? I know he's just like, he's hanging out. He's like having a good time, but like... It's hard. It's hard to work with you on my lap, buddy. It really is. There you go, buddy. All right. Do we have a specific person who is good at digging at the moment? Can we check that out to see what we need and what we don't need? Digging one. Digging zero. Bubbles. Digging one. Getting a digger would be a good thing to do, I think. So let's go with that. Unconstructive can't build, but we have other builders. Athletic, that means that they can move pretty quickly. Cons well, plus two construction is kind of a weird thing there. <laughs> it's kind of weird in your interest or in art, which doesn't really make sense. I'm gonna go for it. All right, bird. You made the cut, all right? Be thankful. And we're gonna build another cot. It's under furniture. One for bird. One for boy. All right. We need a uh, food generation. We have a couple of the meal things, muck roots, but we don't have much else. Power, oxygen, algae deoxidizer I can make now. Tiny batteries and a manual generator I can make now. How can I not make, I can make a microbe musher at this point in time, and I think I will over this, over yonder. Let's make it uh, farther away because it does generate heat like I'm saying. I don't, I don't know how much heat it generates anymore, but let's do that. And then we're actually going to have to make um, the jan a manual generators. Janual menorators. Thanks, brain. You always got my back, brain. Not. Let's do this, this, and this. Can this guy even burrow into the copper, or is he just eventually going to die up there? I'm assuming he can, since there's buried muckrits. Invalid construction location. It's fine. Just figure it out, you guys. But we like we like actually don't have enough food though. And you can actually get that space too for some more copper. You know what? The carbon dioxide is actually gonna flow right down here, and I said I wanted it to flow down into the vacuum. Whoops. We'll just have to deal with that in the, uh, for the time being. He Okay, he jumped down. Hatches down. Oxygen overlay. This is all carbon dioxide, CO2. Um, if we crack into this oxygen too, that's going to go whoosh, float right up. Carbon dioxide will take its place. Vacuum would be a good thing to crack into too, but I, I, I don't want to do that until we can capture this hatch, more or less. And, and potentially where that uh, hatch is captured down here, he might be able to eat that... Um, the stuff in the storage compactor. The gross stuff. You might be able to eat the contaminated dirt. I think that they kind of choose which bed they would like to go to if I don't assign them, but... All right, power. Manual generator. Let's just stick that, like, up here. It might be a bad location because it's a tight spot. Wire this up to the micro musher. Might be a tight spot. And let's like maybe like put a battery over here somewhere. Kind of separate these out. Because we don't want one spot to be too hot. 
research uh, station also takes up heat. Let me put that like right here. Next to the storage compactors, because it takes, it takes water, I think, actually. So closer to the water station would potentially be better, but. I don't want to have like a, a really big heat generator in a closed off space like this, because the only place for this to exchange air is to this little tiny spot right here. We eventually can make some breathable tile, but that's not going to be until later. We could actually just dig down underneath his hatch and try to get him to fall into this vacuum area. But does he die if he doesn't have anything to breathe? I... I don't know. Do you eat my copper ore? Oh my god, did you just eat a copper ore? Did you just do that? Because I might come after you. Like I said, you guys, they, they probably did... Oh, he jumped back up, you dick. They probably did change the way that hatches work. In regards to, um, don't you eat that copper or anything? With regards to, like, them starving to death and their survival, I want you to stay down in this location, Hatch. Could you do that? Could you maybe get down all, all the way over here? Because then I could just build you, you fucking asshole. Just build you in down here. I'm not sure he's going to make it. Yes. Stay down there. Stay down there. No! You! And then he ate some stuff. What a troll. That's an okay spot. We can deal with that. We can deal with that, and we will deal with that. If I just build him in like this, and then start digging this area out like that, that'll work. That will absolutely work. Get that copper so we can start making these wires and the batteries. Who is our power generator? Where are we at for that? Power, 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 power. Supply, I think, is going to be what that's about. So let's... Isn't it? Or is it operate? Production, fabrication, and utility purposes. What's the difference between production and supply? Supply is probably like supplying water, right? Operation is going to be uh, what we're talking about. So I think we want Nails to be the operator. Bubbles is, uh... I was gonna say getting better at art, but you're not making any art. Can we even make art? Where is that? Furniture, stations? No. I don't know where art would be. You'd think furniture, since there's an ice block here. Lamp, ceiling light, refinement, ventilation, plumbing, food, power, oxygen, base. Don't know. don't know about that. Do we seriously have no polluted dirt yet? People aren't pooping as quickly as I thought they would. We still haven't gotten to a point that we can start making food, though. Alright, right when I said that, Nicholas was like, I gotta poop! Right. As soon as the copper ore is mine and it's just sitting on the floor... That's when you are able to, like, start using it. You don't actually have to put it away yet. Jobs board. Unlocks hats. Oh, hats. Oh, great. What else do you do? Do you do anything stupid, like take heat or something? Duplicate operation requirement? I, does that mean that they have to, like, go to it or someone has to stand by it and be like, Yep, it's a board. I got it. I'm, work I'm working on the board. And I'm doing board work. I don't know. Let's just... Let's just make one. Let's just build one and forget it. Alright, I really need you guys to start building this, though. Can we get on that? If you guys start to build wires underneath anything other than tile, like if you try to put it in a wall, they'll actually remove the wall first. So it's got to be buried in a tile. Most of you guys probably know this stuff, but if you don't... Welcome along for the ride. As soon as this is full and it's got nothing but polluted water, what do I do with that? I, I don't know. I I really don't know. Are you guys able to, like, wash your hands enough? Like, what if this wash basin blocks them and they're about to, like, choke to death, right? And they're like, they gotta wash their hands first. They're like... 
You guys ever done that? You go into a bathroom that smells so bad that you try to hold your breath throughout the entire time you go to the bathroom? It's harder than it, th it's harder than it seems. It's tough stuff. Alright. So, food concerns. I'm not concerned. We're getting that done. Water concerns. Nope. Where is our next move? We always have to have something in our sights of where we're going next. I have a feeling that, like, what if this doesn't... What if we don't do anything different on this than we've already done before? Is that gonna be stupid? Is that gonna be stupid if this Let's Play ends up being the same exact thing as before? Like, we don't even get to the point where we can use the new stuff? Because I die or something? Everybody gets a disease and then... It's over. Shine bug is kind of trapped. He's like, hey, help. I don't want to get out of here. Never mind. Figure it out. There's going to be so many things that you guys are going to be so pissed off about. Huts, I can't believe you didn't know the blah. Muckrit, somebody should grab that. Actually, if they're hungry, they can go over there and get it. Jobs board. Hey. Okay. Jobs. I don't know what this is. I don't know what this means. Unemployed, tier zero. There's tier one, which duplicates employed in this tier desire slightly improved colony decor. Okay. Uh, duplicates employed in this tier deserve, desire food that meets basic living standards. Don't have that, not even close. Slightly improved colony decor again, plus 50 decor, plus 75 decor. So is that how the decor is operated then? Exosuit engineer. Mechatronics engineer? I don't have anything like that. What is it? What does it gain if I put a uh, apprentice miner, a, a, a digger? We got Bert. It's got a five. Bert pending. Job experience zero to 250. Duplicants can become eligible for specialized jobs by maxing their current job experience. Okay. Sure. Builder. Nicola. Uh, a gopher. Nickel is actually interested in being a gopher, which is uh, supply. Um, but you're the builder, dude. So, and, and Bert can't do that. Bubbles, shit, man. I guess bubbles. Plus 25 decor, though. That means that they're going to be stressed. They're going to be stressed because of that. Okay. And nails. What are you good at? Tinkering. You'd probably be the uh, general engineer then. But you require better food. So let's just say that we don't put you there any just yet. Because I don't have better food. I don't know how this is working. And if these guys start to uh, want a lot better uh, environment. Better decor levels. That's going to be a problem. We can research that though. And start building a lot of paintings. We have a painter so far. So de decor hopefully won't be an issue. Ever. Oxygen is... Fleeting. Okay, six six eighty oxygen left in here. We're using up a lot of our oxygen, and the the lower pressure that it gets up here because we're breathing in the oxygen, and the higher pressure that the carbon dioxide gets because we're exhaling carbon dioxide. Um, carbon dioxide is going to eventually just start taking over everything. So let's start to maybe make a algae deoxidizer. I'm thinking in the middle of our base. Good night. It's going to be important. Wire that bad boy. Let's maybe, um, where is our priority? Let's make it a six. These guys have got hats! We got hats! Hey! Sweet. So I do believe that uh, if we have a digger, an apprentice digger, let's just hold on a second. Let's hold on a second. Um, it's today's stress levels, decor expectation. Bad. New friend. Bad? New hope. Bad still? Wait a second. No. Minus. Minus means it's good. Decor expectation. She's like, yay. Minus is a, is a good thing. Counterintuitive. But red, positive, is bad. Low oxygen. I understand that. Decor expectation is uh, ba bad and good at the same time. Sure. I think this one is uh, due to the fact that uh, Bubbles has a hat on now. And uh, wearing a hat automatically makes you a snub. So, a snob, a snub, a snib. Both, really. 
Okay. We had that hiccup there with Lenny and me hitting the wrong button, so I don't know how this, how long this uh, episode's gonna be. I have no idea. As soon as we get this research station in, though, bye. We can look at our research tab. Oh my god! Oh my god! There are so many things. There used to be maybe like a, a quarter of this many things to research back when I played it the first time. Wow, 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 wow. Each and every one of these little squares is a new thing that we will be able to build when we research them. Oh my god. I kind of want to go to artistic expression pretty immediately for the decor issue. Because if we start giving everybody jobs, they start getting experience, they're going to be better at their jobs, which is going to be a good thing. I think they need that decor to stay happy and not stressed. We also probably should go directly to farming so that we can get algae terrariums, uh, which converts carbon dioxide. It's like a carbon dioxide scrubber of sorts, low end. Um, planter boxes, compost to turn polluted dirt into fertilizer. These would be really good things to get. Uh, bigger battery, not necessary. Advanced research, not necessary. Plumbing, good, like liquid pumps and stuff like that, but not necessary nor is ventilation at this point in time so that we can start moving gases around so i think interior decoration and basic farming probably basic farming first i guess do we have enough people right now that we can afford to have somebody researching probably maybe i was trying to say before that if they're wearing a hat if someone's like a an apprentice digger then, and they have a, a, a dig task like over here, it's got five priority. And a build task that's over here that's got five priority and they're staying right next to the build task. I think they'll actually prefer to do the digging before the building. So that's important. Bert's name looks like it says butt from here. <laughs> lame, that's your lame. No fabrications queued, let's go ahead. Berry sludge, lice loaf, oh, bristle berry. You can actually start to eat bristle berries then? Where are the bristle berries? B no, bluff briar. That's not the same thing. I don't know what a bliss bristle berry is. I know what a dingleberry is. Is that the same thing? Bristle berry. You did what, now? Nah? I have no idea. Bristle blossom. Does that give me bristle berries? Is that what this thing is? Blossom seed. No, I don't know what a bristle berry is then. I'm assuming it's from the bristle blossom. Meal lice compacted into a, a lice loaf is coming from uh, mealwood. And mush bar, edible uh, putch, putrefied mud slop. Mush bars are preferable to starvation, but only just barely. Dirt and water to make this thing. Um, we want, a, we want a couple of those. Maybe not too many of them off the bat. Because I don't really know what I'm doing. That battery charged up fast. That thing is going to eventually give off heat. Which is going to be a problem. Our uh, deoxidizer is pumping away. It's going to start using up our uh, supply of algae. Algae. And, I, and that's uh, probably going to... Uh, I don't know. Be somewhat problematic. I'd like to get these shine bugs actually out of there. They can increase my decor immediately. And there's a lot of oxygen in this area. I did say though that I would like to get that hatch out of this area. So if I start digging this down, hatch shouldn't sh won't be able to jump down though. That's the problem. Won't be able to jump down into this area. Is that a big deal? Is it a big deal because the hatch is going to you know, maybe we want the polluted uh, oxygen, the polluted dirt, rather, so that we can turn that into fertilizer so that we can start growing stuff instead of having this hatch eat it all. Because if I just build the ladder down right now, he's going to be stuck there. And maybe being stuck there, like this guy is stuck here, is, is acceptable. For now. I don't think he can jump down on top of this ladder. I think that if the ladder continues down, he won't be able to do that, but... If he does, then we're back to square one, which is kind of where we wanted to be in the first place, so... I'm not, I'm not going to sweat it too much here. So, Butt is making some butt loaf. Nails is doing the power. Were you the, were you the power person, Nails? You must have been. 
Nils is power, right? Operate, Nils. Good. Now, do we want Nails the, to be the only person that can do that? Mm, I don't know about that, necessarily. Who's on research? Nails is also on research. See, that's a problem. You can't do both at the same time unless Nails get the battery full and then she swats over to do the research, which maybe that might work. That might work so that everybody can kind of do their own thing, but... Nicola just seems like the type of name that should do research. He's also a builder. He's a big builder. But uh, we'll put him on research for now. Bert is uh, drooling at the mouth. So probably not going to be putting on uh, Bert on <laughs> research. Uh, yeah. Why are you drooling from the mouth, dude? Where is Bert? Eating. That's why. So we cracked into this area. The oxygen is hopefully going to be uh, coming up and through this. This algae deoxider, deoxidizer is also creating oxygen. We want this carbon dioxide to kind of fall down into this cavern. Not bother us. But I, I think that's kind of stopping this mealwood from growing. If we could have harvested that mealwood first, maybe that would have been better. I don't know. Nicola's doing the research. We're doing it. It's working. We have a microbe musher. Where is... Here we go. Edible. 9,580 kcals. I do believe that everybody eats 1,000 kcals a day. Don't quote me on that. But I think that's the case. So we should actually be pretty good for a while. After this mush bar. No more power. We're out of power. Who's, who's generating power? Nails. Ketonic nails. Can I put you um, in a power generation job? Sous chef. Art students. Groundskeeper. It's probably just going to be the general engineer, I, I bet you. But we don't have better food to give you, so I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to subject you to that. You don't, you know, with great hat comes great responsibility. Alright. We have food. It's kind of lying around the map. That might be a problem. I think we'll be okay with it. Let's clear out this. I can only reach uh, two across from a ladder. So we'll have to go back. You know, if we wanted to be like really smart though, we would cancel. C is cancel. X is delete. Go like this first, because they can just walk across this little platform and go doo -doo -doo -doo. and then when they're done with that, move on. Done. Easy. Simple stuff. How's our toilet doing? Okay. Still got uses. How's our uh, wash basin doing? Really, really good. Actually. Surprisingly. Uh, is there anybody on attack right now? We turn combat off for new duplicates. Just, I, I gotta make sure every now and then. Gotta double check. How are our vitals, by the way? Stress levels, pretty good. Bert, you suck. Decor expectation, minus five is actually going to be problematic, but that's because of the hats. We already knew that. Because I think most of it's going to be in the negative for decor. Negative 17, negative 18, negative five, negative 100. Wow, because of all the, the, the shit in the floor. It's messy in there. We could sweep it up. This is really good decor because of these uh, the shine bugs. Shine bugs are working hard, you know? Unsung hero here. I like that. Oxygen, how are we doing? 700 now. We were about 600 before. So that's nice. Oxygen deoxidizer will uh, work as long as we have power to it. There will be power to it as long as this battery uh, has some charge to it. So over the course of the night, it'll slowly drain into our deoxidizer. Wait a second, what, what's, what am I hearing right now? Uh-oh. Bubbles is trapped. And almost out of air. Bubbles, fuck yourself. Bubbles, why did you do that? Bubbles, why? Um, I'm, I don't know what to do here. K 
cancel this. Bubbles. Why? Bubbles. Why? Bubbles. I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna cut the episode here, you guys. We're gonna pick it up in the next one. Hopefully, I can say bubbles, but it doesn't look like it's uh, promising. It looks like bubbles is just about to die. Uh, bed cannot be reached. Yeah, they, they, bubbles dug herself down and then did not have the ability to uh, build the ladder back up by the time that uh, everyone decided to go to sleep. So that's gonna be a problem. That's gonna be a huge problem. We'll try to figure out that out in the next one. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you then.